is going on everyone jossie here and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i set up my new 16 inch macbook pro with the m1 pro chip before we get started be sure to give this video a thumbs up i will greatly appreciate it it helps out with the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this i really think it's important to take advantage of different applications that can help you be more productive also, as a software engineer, I think it's really important to customize the applications that you're using on your MacBook Pro to enhance your overall experience as a developer that allows you to ultimately write code more effectively, painlessly, it's painlessly a word, and efficiently. Before we continue this video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Bubbles, and how Bubbles is the easiest way for you to collaborate with your team no matter how or when you work. Bubbles is an easy and fun way for teams to collaborate across time zones, locations, or work schedules with less meetings. I can get a lot more done in less time with Bubbles. Like when I'm consulting a friend on an application they're building, I can screen record the app and voice my opinion on the app's user experience as opposed to sending lengthy text messages back and forth. As a programmer, if I'm pair programming, it's great to have the ability to highlight specific lines of code that I may be struggling to implement or having trouble understanding and also provide a recording of what my thoughts are, which saves a ton of time, allowing me and the developer I'm collaborating with to still work asynchronously replacing another Zoom call that no one wants with Bubbles. By having the ability to screen record and audio record at the same time. But one other thing that caught my attention when it comes to Bubbles is the usable and simple user experience. It doesn't require installation. You don't even have to log into a profile. When you use Bubbles, you'll be prompt with a screen recording or uploading an image options. Simply select the feature you'd like to use and start recording your screen video or audio. Bubbles is free for all teams. No limits on usage. You don't have to pay to unlock additional features. If you're a software engineer, program manager, designer, or any professional needing to collaborate through screen, video, and audio, I definitely recommend to use Bubbles. Thank you to Bubbles for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna check Bubbles out, the link will be down in the description box. First thing I like to do is to hide my dock to increase screen real estate. The dock is just not always practical for it to be shown. So go over to system preferences or simply enter command space and type in dock. You'll see dock and menu as an option. Simply check automatically hide and show the dock. Now your dock will only display when you hover your mouse over the bottom of your screen. One of the first things I like to do as well when setting up my new MacBook Pro is I usually download a wallpaper from a website like Wallpaper Access, Unsplash, amongst other websites where you can download type of wallpaper you're looking for. Usually go for a clean or colorful abstract type of wallpaper or select a different wallpaper that Apple already provides. I'm a big fan of peripherals, so the next thing I'll do is connect my Bluetooth mouse, keyboard speakers, and headphones to my M1 MacBook Pro. The next step to setting up my MacBook Pro is to download my must-have apps for productivity. The first one being Magnet. So unfortunately, there isn't a built-in hack to organize your workspace, declutter your screen, or simply snap your windows. Magnet makes multitasking with many apps open much easier. You can simply drag your window to the edge of your display and it'll size any app into half of the screen. Magnet also gives you the ability to select the specific arrangement you want for your window. So if you only want it to be left a third or right one half or right two thirds, you can just select whatever size you want for that specific window. This app is a game changer when it comes to workflow productivity. I'm a big fan of Pomodoro timers and which is why Flow has become my most used focus app. It encourages you to focus and stay motivated while also reducing stress. This app behaves as a widget more than anything else 
when in active flow state, it adds a countdown timer to the toolbar in the top right corner. And when your focus time ends, Flow will enable a full screen break timer for the start of your break. Another productivity app that has made my MacBook much more enjoyable to use is Manico. Manico is a very simple launch and switcher application that improves the interaction of switching between active and hidden applications. Using option plus the number key to launch or switch to the target app, which is a lot faster than typing command space and then typing in the name of the application you're looking for. Extensions are an important part of my setup process as well, especially as a web developer constantly inspecting and developing web applications. So the first thing I would do is download Chrome because it's my favorite browser, especially when it comes to inspecting web applications that I'm developing. I also will download Grammarly because it's an incredible extension that will spell check for you. It'll also check for other grammatical errors and sentences as well. And then a new extension I've been using recently is Colorzilla, which is an extension that is an advanced eyedropper, color picker, and gradient generator. When you activate the extension, you can decide what feature you like to use. For example, when I'm browsing for design inspiration on site like dribble I can select the pick color from page option and use a cursor to select the color I like to add to my clipboard along with making sure you have apps that make you a productive Mac user it's also important to have extensions for the IDE that you use and in my case I use VS code there's usually about 10 extensions that I use on a regular basis that make my web development process as painless as possible for the sake of time being I'm only going to talk about my most recent installed favorite extension and it's called CSS peak as a front-end developer you can imagine that I spend a substantial amount of time fighting with CSS yes I said fighting shout out to all my front-end devs CSS peak allows you to view and change the definition of a CSS class without having to navigate to the CSS file and this is incredibly helpful especially when you're working in a code base with hundreds of folders last but not least is the setup of web development apps packages and libraries I mostly do web development, so it's essential that I download and install Node.js, which is needed to do development for executing JavaScript code server side. Node also comes packaged with NPM, which is a package manager that you'll need to install necessary dependencies or libraries for your web project. Another essential for development on a Mac is Xcode because for one, it's the only way to natively build iOS applications if you're interested in doing iOS mobile development. And it will also install Git, which is a code hosting platform for version control and collaboration. I also highly recommend making GitHub repositories for all of your projects so you don't lose your precious code and to show that you're an active developer for potential employers. You also can go to GitHub site if you don't want to actually download Xcode and want to get GitHub a different way. That concludes this video. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I release a video. Also comment down below some of your favorite MacBook applications for web development, content creation, productivity, all the things. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Peace.